there are creatures living in outer space. And I'm, I'm the first one to realize how crazy that sounds. Um, scientists would immediately say, well, that's impossible. There's ultraviolet radiation in space uh, without having a craft around you, you'll die. Well, all I can say is that these, I call them space serpents, um, they do exist. They've been filmed by Story Musgrave, who's a senior space shuttle commander. He's been with NASA for 30 years. He's seen one of these space serpents on two occasions. He's filmed it on one occasion. They've also been filmed from the ground, flying around in the upper atmosphere. Now, quite frankly, we don't know anything about the life cycle of these creatures, but they do fit in with the descriptions of other kinds of critters, other strange looking creatures that astronauts from the very early days of NASA have reported. Um, I suspect that they use some form of photosynthesis and I suspect that um, they hydrate themselves by flying in the upper atmosphere of planets. One important thing I must say though about these space serpents is that there are about seven or eight very very important uh, ancient sites, temple sites uh, on planet Earth, most notably in Mexico. And these temples are dedicated to the memory of flying serpents. And this is what we see in this footage, is flying serpents. There also seems to be a very interesting relationship between the flying serpent and these small luminous spheres. Houston, we are using the payload bay cameras right now to hopefully catch a glimpse of the Russian space station Mir as it performs an on-orbit burn. Though it will be difficult to uh, pick Mir out from the stars as they pass behind us, the uh, payload bay cameras are positioned such that they're looking straight back, back, straight back behind the orbiter where the Mir is flying in about 850 nautical miles behind us. Well, obviously this is a massive faux pas that this uh, piece of footage was accidentally broadcast. 
the person who's passed me this uh, piece of footage is now dead. Um, the footage that we see mostly of UFOs has been filmed with image intensifying equipment. Mission lapse time of seven days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, Mir Space Station is now visible on the uh, far left hand side of the screen, about, about an inch from the bottom of this particular picture. Okay, the Mir space station is the small flashing light in the center about an inch from the left-hand side of the screen. It's slowly... Tell me how on the camera. It is slowly moving closer to the left-hand side and is a very has a very light flashing to it. We think in the middle of the screen, way to the left-hand side. We think you can see a flashing light just a little bit to the left of the center of the screen, very faint. Yeah, we do see something flashing visually, but we're not sure that that might be... Uh... This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, we believe we were just able to spot the Mir spacecraft as it flies about at 850 nautical miles behind us.